Hey, this is Heather at Outside School, and I wanted to invite you to our after lunch story time. Well, actually, I finish eating, and my students are usually still eating, and then I have a story time. But this one, I've been waiting to share with people, people for a long time, and I want to say thank you to my student who is recording this while they're eating their lunch. Very expert multitaskers. So before the COVID times, my husband and I were at a convention. And this convention used to be a small convention in San Jose called Big Wow. It was a comic convention. And he and I sell fun stuff there. And one year, Big Wow was bought out by uh, the Silicon Valley Comic Con. Uh, which it became that and and it was um, started by Waz from um, Apple and it turned into this huge convention like people couldn't even walk around and all this stuff so when the convention weekend was over we packed up all our goods and we were trying to find our way to the parking lot and we've even though we've been in this convention hall many times there were just so many people we just couldn't find our way so we got stuck at the hotel that's attached and we were trying to find the elevator and there was this other man trying to find the elevator as well and now my husband and I have this cable car documentary and we noticed that this man had this big pile of stuff and on top was a cable car and we're like, ah, we're so frustrated. You know, it's been a long weekend and we can't find the elevator. And he thought, you know what? I can't find the elevator too. Let's try to find the elevator together. And so we started chatting and we found the elevator, but we didn't say goodbye to each other because we started chatting. And he said, well, this is not a cable car on top of my pile. This is a trolley car. Do you happen to know a TV show? that has a trolley car you do what's the tv show you can say it out loud actually no i don't you don't no have you ever heard of mr rogers i mean i've heard the movie but i don't know anything about it they still have it on tv today because i know you watch pbs mr rogers was a show when i was a kid oh yeah i do oh you do know it okay yeah, I, think, I think i've heard of it sometimes so it turned out that the man who had all this stuff who had also been selling at the convention was named mr mcfeely and he was the post off postal person on mr rogers neighborhood and he always would bring a special delivery and <clears throat> we met one another all of our stuff was packed up so what we decided we would do is, are you dancing back there? No. You're dancing and eating and recording? Yeah, I, you know, my, I got three hands. I mean, four hands. <laughs> I got my two, plus my two legs. There you go. Now keep going. Okay. So we vowed that we would write to one another. So my husband and I sent Mr. McFeely a care package of our cable car DVD and some other things. And Mr. McFeely sent us a care package with his book and also um, like a Mr. Rogers pen that had the trolley car and some fun things like that. So it was really cool to get that. And I, right now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read the cover of the book and show you the cover of the book, but I'm going to want you to get your own copy of the book because I'm pretty sure this is copyrighted and I can't share it all with you right now. So what I'm going to do is show you the cover, read it, read the cover to you, and then my student is going to pause the video so you can read your own copy and see what happens. So this book that Mr. McFeely sent us is called Speedy Delivery. Can you see that on the screen there? Great. And it says, from the producers of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And there he is, Mr. McFeely. And on his hat, it says speedy delivery. The funny thing about Mr. McFeely, we went and looked at old episodes of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and he made himself look old on the show. So now that he's older, he looked just the same as he did when he was on Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. So, so that was a pretty fun book. Um, what I realized I totally forgot about at the beginning, it says to the tailors, 
speedy delivery from Mr. McFeely 2017. And then we noticed it's actually written by Fred Rogers, who is Mr. Rogers himself. Now, what did you think of the book? I thought it was great. Yeah. Folks, everybody who's going to be watching this, what do you think that the book would be if you read it? That seems like the ultimate mystery for the questions posed in this book, doesn't it? Hmm. hmm. Well, then I guess you better get yourselves a, co a copy <laughs> of that book. Speedy delivery. Speedy delivery. So this is not the end of the story, though. I wanted to know, have you ever gotten something special in the mail that was a special surprise? We have. You have? Yeah. Do you want to share any examples? Yeah, like the time um, my grandma sent me this giant box mm -hmm. of toys cool. that I love. Yeah. And it was all like wild animals, which I love. I can't get it. I can't. Like, I don't like brat stalls. You can't get enough wild animals. I know you. Yeah, no. I, give me a cheetah. It's a treat. A cheetah is a treat. So another day. So Mr. McFeely showed up at a movie theater in Fremont that's a really, really special one called the Niles SNA Silent Film Museum. And my husband. I know and I, what silent film is. What is silent film? Silent film is where they don't talk, mm -hmm. but um, they have like, those like, after somebody says something like, I like da da da, whatever, then, a, then like a little, then words appear. Exactly. Yeah. And so I've watched tons. So that was the oldest form of movie making. They were silent and they would have an organist in the theater playing music along with it. But my husband and I are fortunate enough to share our talkie movies with them. So um, we got a package. It was a speedy delivery from our friend Rena, who works at the Niles SNA Silent Film Museum. And this package was, I think it was wrapped, if I remember right, in a cereal box with lots of duct tape. It was the craziest shape. And I've been meaning to share this with everybody for a long time. And I wrapped it special today. And I Thanks. wanted to know if you want to see what our special speedy delivery was. Would you like to see? Yes! All right, do you want to put your hands in front of it? Do you want to reach around and see if you could open this? It might help a little just so you don't knock the camera. Aha! What in the world is that? Do you want to pull that out of there? Oh. You can rip the bag, it's okay. I already ripped it this morning. Oops! Jeez. All right. What in, is this a bell? It is. Here, let's pull, hold it in front of the camera. Let me, sh let me get it unwound. I didn't realize it was Ooh. all wound up. Now the camera got knocked a little. Is that gonna, is that still in place enough? Ah, here we go. Folks, this is a moment of joy for me. It's a moment of joy for you? All right. How in the world do you bang this? Well, why don't you pull that? chain and see. Pull hard. Like really boom boom like that. Oh how about this? Let's try pulling. Oh try turning it over. Let's try that. Oh try it. There you go. There you go. So our friend Rena sent this to us and it gets these this is made of brass. Yeah. And it gets mount these brackets mount it to the ceiling of a special vehicle and somebody on it does that. Can you think of what type of vehicle has this type of bell on it? Yes, a truck. Maybe a truck. There's a special kind of vehicle in San Francisco that uses this bell. Have you ever seen one of those? 
A wagon? Not a wagon. A race car. Not a race car. Here, pull it again. You know what has this bell? It's a San Francisco cable car has this bell on it. Shoot! <laughs> had it you almost had it and the cool thing now my husband and i have a cable car documentary san francisco cable cars i'm so unhappy <laughs> and that's why rena sent us this bell because it really it's an actual san francisco cable car bell <laughs> and in a couple weeks on so this is going to happen on Saturday, December 9th at noon. We're playing our documentary at the Arenda Theater in Arenda, California to celebrate that it's been 150 years since the first running of cable cars in San, not just San Francisco, but anywhere in the world. So we're playing it and our movie is always available at sfcablecars.com or sanfranciscocablecars.com. And the Niles SNA Silent Film Museum has the most amazing movies that they play for very inexpensive prices. They're in Fremont. And of course, we have Speedy Delivery by Mr. Fred, Rogers. Mr. Fred Rogers himself. So that is our cool story time of the day. And I have a feeling we're going to play with this some more in the park. And that is the end of today's story time. Thanks for watching everybody and see thank ya. you. See ya folks. See ya folks. <laughs>